An Atlanta area landlord went to visit his rental property after it had been vacated by the tenants and found squatters living there. So he called the police, but the police arrested him. I'm Tony, and this is Real Estate Investing in Landlord News. All right, so I have a wild story for you today, and it's going over this crazy thing that happened with these squatters and this Atlanta area landlord. Okay. So this landlord had property that was you know, empty after some tenants had moved out of it and squatters moved in. So he goes over to the property, confronts these squatters, right? I don't even know if he knew the squatters were living there or not. And guess what? You know, they, they've got drugs and weapons and all sorts of illegal activity going on over at his property. He calls the police, yeah, and you know what the police do? They arrest him. They say that he's trespassing on his property because these tenants are claiming, or I'm sorry, these squatters are claiming that they're tenants. And the truth of the matter is they're just, you know, broke into his house and were, you know, using fraud. And, you know, this guy ends up in jail because of it. This is outrageous, okay? This is absolutely insane. I've never heard anything quite this bad in terms of squatter stories before. That's why I brought this up. I actually want to give a shout out to Anthony Brian Logan because I saw this video on his channel first and I thought I'd give my opinions of the same thing, you know, coming from a landlord's perspective. <clears throat> so before I get into the article, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button, maybe leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. So what do you think of this whole situation where a landlord goes over to their property, finds out the squatters are inside, and then the landlord becomes the one that is arrested, okay? What do you think of that? Do you think this is, you know, everything right? And from what I've heard, these squatters are still there, okay? They have not been evicted yet. They are still living in there. You know, this complete farce of a story is hard to believe. And I think part of it is due to the court backlogs in the Atlanta area. The, the, I covered that story just a couple of weeks ago, how their courts are so backlogged that landlords are waiting almost a year to get evictions heard and to get tenants out of their property. So, you know, this is kind of a combination of bad situations happening all at the same time. OK, so anyway, let's get into the article. This article is coming from the New York Post dot com and it says, Homeowner arrested after trying to evict squatters from his own property. He walked in on weapons, a prostitute, and a bunch of dogs. And there is a video that goes with this article. I'll play that video for you right now. Marco says just days after his tenant moved out of his East Lake rental home, he showed up to find someone had broken in. He says as soon as he pulled into the driveway, a gun was pointed at him. I just jumped the fence and ran. I didn't, I didn't know what else to do. That was all the way back in February. Six months later, the alleged squatters are still living in Arcos DeKalb County home. I didn't walk in on a family eating dinner. I walked in on weapons, a prostitute, a bunch of dogs in the back, my fence broken down. But it was Arco. Police took into custody that day back in February after he called 911. And they told the police that I was a home invader and that it was their home. And so I ended up being arrested and detained. Since then, Arco has been fighting to evict the squatters in court. After months of court delays, the eviction order is finally signed, but now he's waiting on the marshals. John Ernst is Arco's attorney. No one likes, you know, being in the court system, but it becomes even worse when it's, it seems broken down. All right, you saw the video. Let's get into the article. A homeowner stopped by to check on a suburban Atlanta property only to be arrested for trespassing. Days after the departure of a previous tenant, Tim Arco pulled into the driveway of his house in Desirable Decatur, where he suddenly encountered a stranger waving a gun in his face. I just jumped the fence and I ran. I didn't know what else to do, Arco told local channel WSB-TV. I didn't walk in on a family eating dinner. I walked in on weapons, a prostitute, a bunch of dogs in the back, my fence broken down, he told a reporter. After dialing 911 to report the intrusion, Arco was astonished to find himself being arrested and taken into police custody. They told the police that I was a home invader and that it was their home, and so I ended up being arrested and detained, Arco said. Since then, Arco has been fighting to evict the alleged squatters in court. So, wow, okay, this is insane, okay? So, 
this was just days after his previous tenant had moved out of there. So yeah, this landlord, he obviously didn't have any time really to do anything. I mean, he could have, the best he probably could have done is gone over there and, you know, immediately as soon as the tenant was out and had somebody staying there, you know, make sure the locks were changed. But man, I mean, just a few days, that's really not enough time to even have done anything. This could easily happen to any of us. Okay. And so he goes over there, not knowing that there are people there. And guess what? These squatters, they, they start pulling their guns out. Okay. There's, there's a prostitute in there, a bunch of dogs. I mean, what was he supposed to do? He said he jumped the fence to get out of there. And he calls the police. He's like, hey, hey, there's, there's, you know, people up in my house. I don't know what's going on. You know, they're trespassing. No, no, no. They claim that he's the one trespassing. The police believe them, believe them for some odd reason, even though, you know, he could easily pull out paperwork saying, hey, I'm the owner of this house. Hey, this place is not for lease. Hey, this is very easy to prove that these people are squatters. But no, no, the police arrest him. Give me a freaking break, okay? The police are not doing their job in this case, okay? If they arrested him for that, okay? They should have easily been able to figure out that, hey, these people are lying. These people are squatters. Minor investigative skills. Minor investigative skills would have prevented this whole situation from happening, but that did not happen. And this guy ends up in jail anyway. But let me continue. <clears throat> Six months later, they are still living in Arco's home. Two people have died in the residence from overdoses during that time. Code enforcement has even cited Arco for not properly maintaining the house he legally can't access. After lengthy court delays, an eviction order was finally signed. Oh my goodness, you know, like that that's one of my biggest gripes. You know, you're telling us, hey, we have to go through the civil eviction process. We have to play by all these rules. But meanwhile, the city comes up, okay, well, you still got to, you know, keep the property up. Well, how the heck are we supposed to keep the property up when we have illegal people living in the property? People who shouldn't be there in the first place and you refuse to evict them. You refuse, refuse to uh, arrest them for the crimes that they've committed, like trespassing, breaking and entering, uh, robbery, burglary, whatever, all of it. You know, you refuse to enforce the law on these people, yet then you blame me, you find me, and then you tell, oh, we want your property taxes too. Where's your property taxes at? Keep paying your taxes even though you're not getting paid a dime from these people and you have to house them for free. What a joke, okay? This kind of stuff, this is why landlords, you know, sometimes they go beyond the law in order to get rid of people like this out of their properties. And I'm not suggesting that. I say follow the law, follow the rules, right? But I understand why some landlords get so frustrated that they decide to break the rules. Arco still awaits marshals, however, to conduct the eviction. Arco said he has been informed by marshals that they are hoping for a September eviction. No one likes, you know, being in the court system, but it becomes even worse when it seems broken down, said John Ernst, Arco's attorney, told a reporter. I feel like it's heavily weighted towards these trespassers and criminals, not people that get duped, Arco said. So, yeah, this, this is bad. You know, it's not going to be until September until these tenants get up out of the property or until the marshals come to get these tenants out of the property. So, you know, this is a bad news situation for this landlord. And, you know, I feel for him. I feel for him because, like I said before, this could happen to any of us at any point in time. You know, we have tenant turnover and these scammers, they look, they look for houses that have become vacant. Sometimes the previous tenants might be the ones who, enabled this by letting people they know just go in there and that that's it's terrible but it's the truth okay so i i hate to hear this sort of thing happening to anybody back in may a similar incident occurred in atlanta when an army officer returned to her home to find a squatter living in her sprawling five hundred thousand dollar residence while she was away on active duty Lieutenant Colonel Dahlia Dare told WSB TV that she came home to find a man by the name of Vincent Simon living in her home. 
And I covered that story. And uh, Dolly Adari actually reached out to me, you know, just thanking me for covering the story because, you know, people need to know about this sort of thing happening and that, hey, there are landlords out there, there are property owners out there who are suffering through this nonsense all the time. And it seems like this is a really big problem in the Atlanta area, Pro probably because, you know, the, the eviction courts are just dragging their feet and not getting these people up out of these properties, okay? So people are taking advantage of the situation. They realize this sort of thing is going on and landlords are getting completely screwed over. So yeah, uh, bad story. I hope that the eviction goes through for um, this landlord here in September. You know, I hope the marshals come out, get rid of these horrible people who's able to get his property back. And, uh, you know, just... Wow, I, I just don't know what I would do in this sort of situation. I would just be too frustrated to even be able to think straight.